not other than individual company partnership if the government of india is paying interest on loan royalty technical fees and if it is utilized in india and or 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 not used in india it will be taxable so that was my mistake please note it down you have noted this first and please note it down here we come to an end i'll show you that star mark section 9 which we have left behind while solving that sum computation fees for technical service rendered in india received in malaysia technical services fees rendered by geeta in india the technical service is rendered by geeta in india therefore it is in indian income 25000 will be a business connection and you have to write section 9 c 25000 fees of technical service rendered in india but received in malaysia 25000 will form a part of income of miss geeta for calculation of the total income that's it we have completed now we'll do a quick revision what we have done residential status of an ssc comes for 8 marks or more than that it may come if you have a good luck we have to determine in this chapter we have to determine the residential status of the ssc first of all we will determine the residential status of the ssc because if person is resident he will pay tax on the world income that is indian income as well as foreign income and if person is non resident he will pay tax only on indian income this you have written if you have missed it down please pause it down wherever you need and write it i will not put hand in middle residential status so important point residential status is determined on the basis of stay and not on the basis of citizenship see i i stressed on stay if the person is staying in india then only the residential status will be determined not on the basis of a citizenship a person may have two or more citizenship but he has to stay in a country where he stay he stays for once in particular country that means a person can stay at one place at a one time that means he can't be at two place at a time so the residency status is determined on the basis of stay and not on the basis of citizenship basic condition section 61 if a person satisfy either of the basic condition he will be considered as resident that is stay in india for the previous year for 182 days or more or the second condition which have to be fulfilled cumulatively that is this is the second condition 1a 1 this is 2a 2b stay in india in the previous year for 60 days or more and stay in india in the last four previous year for 365 days or more you may remember the importance of the last four previous year you have to exclude the preceding financial you have to exclude the finance previous year sorry for my sorry, sorry for my speech what i am saying is little here and there please manage the most the more important is how you learn not my manner of talking i have make media understand this sec- this second condition or this example there are exception for the fo- basic condition in that the first basic condition will be only applicable and not the second one so we'll read it again in the following case the residential st- in the following case the residential status of the ssc will be determined on the first basic condition that is stay in india for 182 days or more and not on the second basic condition that is the following persons have to satisfy the first condition that is 182 days that is that person this person have to stay in india for 182 days only in india then only they will be re- then only they will be considered as a resident and not on the second condition that is 60 days and 365 days in the last four previous years in this in the following case the residential status of the ssc will be determined on the first basic condition that is stay in india for 182 days or more and not on the second condition indian citizen lives in, in lives india in the previous year for the purpose of employment if the indian person lives in india for the purpose of employment then he has to satisfy 182 days criteria to be a resident and, and if the indian citizen lives in india in the previous year as a crew member of a indian ship then also the same If the Indian citizen or a person of Indian origin comes to India in previous year for the purpose of visit, Indian origin means a means person who himself or parents or means person 
who himself or parents or grand parents born in undivided india undivided india means india plus pakistan plus bangladesh i hope you have written this if you have missed it you have you may have wrote it ssc status will be determined as residential and non residential that is resident or non resident if an ssc is a resident then he has to satisfy two basic two additional condition then he will be determined resident ordinary resident or resident non ordinary resident additional condition section 6 sub section 6 if the person satisfy both the additional condition then he will be termed as resident ordinary resident otherwise resident non ordinary resident the conditions have to be fulfilled cumulatively there is no either in this like the first like the basic conditions either one or two here both the condition have to be fulfilled cumulatively therefore it is and resident in india for at least 2 years out of the last 10 previous year and and stay in india in last 7 previous year for 730 days or more the condition has to be fulfilled cumulatively then only the ssc he will be recognized as resident ordinary resident or resident non ordinary resident this was an illustrative sum that we have solved i hope you have copied it this table the most important table you know when to write this table if the question comes in the question paper first write this table the very first thing you have to do is write this table indian income foreign income controlled in india foreign income controlled outside india non resident resident non ordinary resident resident ordinary remember the order non resident then again non ordinary resident then ordinary resident see that see the pattern taxable 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 non taxable 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 non taxable non taxable taxable hope you have written it now we will determine the residential status other than the ssc hindu undivided family if the hindu undivided family is fully controlled or partly controlled in india in the previous year then the huf is a resident if it is fully controlled outside india in the previous year then it is non resident resident if the karta satisfies both the additional both the additional condition that is under section 6 sub section 6 then the huf will be resident ordinary resident otherwise huf will be resident non ordinary or non ordinary resident otherwise means karta it is not satisfying both the additional condition that is section 6 sub section 6 partnership firm aop bui aop refers to Association of person BOP refers to as body of individual partnership firm. If it is fully or partly controlled in India in the previous year, then it is resident. If it is fully controlled outside India in the previous year, it is non-resident. Company. If the company is registered in India, simply it's resident. If it is registered outside India and the company is controlled fully in India, then it is resident. Fully or partly controlled outside India, non-resident. Business connection. We have done it just now. business connection if a non resident is having a foreign income which is having business connection in india it will be deemed as indian income and it will be taxable business connection is not defined in the act but as per the various judicial pronouncement following will be treated as business connection indian independent agent factory branches etc such are treated as a business connection in india following are the exception following will not be treated as the business connection purchase of the raw material in india for the purpose of export outside india you know why collection of the news material in india for the purpose of distribution outside india. this can be also like the magazine articles or uh, news collection that is printing press thing shooting of cinematographic film in india for the purpose of distribution outside india and you know the exception if the person shooting the cinematographic film is produced by an individual who is an indian citizen or produced by a partnership firm who partner is an indian citizen or produced by a company whose shareholder is an indian citizen then it would not be come under the exception of it is not a business connection it would be deemed as business connection if the government of india is paying salary to the non resident if the government of india is paying salary to the non resident case one if the non resident is an indian citizen then the salary will be taxable but allowances and the perquisite will be exam it is a part of uh, income from salary that will learn as in when we will complete our further chapters case 2 if the non resident is a non indian citizen nothing is 
taxable. If the loan is taken, if the loan is taken from non-resident, then interest on loan will be taxable. If such loan taken from the non-resident is utilized in India, and it will be exempt if it is used outside India. If the formula is taken from the non-resident outside, and if the if the formula is taken from the non-resident and the royalty is paid to the non-resident, and such formula is used in India, then the royalty will be charged for tax and if used outside india it will be exempt i hope you are getting what i am trying to teach if the technical know how is taken from the non resident and technical fees will be taxable if it is used if it is utilized in india however it is exempt if it is used outside india a very important note if a government of india is paying interest on loan royalty technical fees if it is used in india or not used in india it will be taxable to the non resident i hope our chapter was clean precise to understand now you are eligible to solve the sum other than income which do not form part of the total income and chapter uh, sorry deduction under chap under under section 80 that i'll teach you after completing a further chapter that is that's it for today we have completed the residential status